Hello, I'm Tom Scully from Pole Fishing Magazine and I'm joining Nick Palmer today from Real Ideas. And what he's demonstrating to me is his Clever Claw Mark II. It's a system that's sort of proven, isn't it, Nick? It's been on the go for, for quite a while, but I know you have made some improvements to it. Yes, you know, there's, there's uh, several thousand anglers now using the Clever Claw. There was, as you say, it's the Mark II, so yep. it's, it's a wider, it's V-shaped arm giving support on both sides of the pole. Right. So how many, how many of these units have you shifted, roughly, Nick? It's in the, re in the region of 15,000. So it's obviously something yeah. that's, that that's a lot of people use and it, it seems to work well. The feedback's 100%. Yeah, the beauty of this setup is it does automatically release, doesn't it? That's right, yeah. At any point in time that I decide that I want the pole back, now in my control, now yeah. whether that's when I get a fish on yeah. or I just decide that I want it back in my control, I push down and it springs undone. That's brilliant. So I just turn, push together, that's engaged the claw and it's that upward pressure from your pole keeping it firmly locked. Got you. So the fish is on, yeah. push down with my elbow, claws Springs released. Off. And that's that spring mechanism you talked about, isn't it? Releasing. Yeah, stainless steel spring just puts it through 180. I'll, have to, that. Oh, I'll have to bring my uh, bigger net next time and come, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lovely fish. Flipping it, Nick. Let's just lift that right up. Blinking it, that is ten pound, isn't it? Nice looking fish. Cracking. I notice you've got um, something around your pole there. What's that? Well, that's my twister pole rig hookups. All right. And what does that do? Well, instead of people stretching their elastic out like this and hooking onto the bottom of the section, yeah. which if there was a split there. The hook could run up it with a strong elastic. Yeah. What these do, you just hook your hook on them, like so, without an elastic pulled out. To, when oh, you I want see. to start fishing, you just twist those little two little loops apart. Right. Take it off, put it down, start fishing with that section. And what happens if you want to um, want it down here if you've got a deeper rig? We use different sizes. Oh, In right, every okay. pack, there's seven different sizes, ranging from your shortest rig that you could ever imagine using. Yep. going right down onto the biggest red colour which right. goes right down onto your number four section and there's one that's accommodating five foot isn't it probably? yeah something maybe even six foot again same thing yeah just give it a twist put it down on your bait tray or whatever fish with that rig that's you, brilliant you want to go back to your shallow rig you just pop it around your pole give it a twist and each one is made from durable non-perishable nylon. Right. They're not elasticated, but because you twist them together, together, like so, yep. each one, you see each one slides a couple of feet. Got you, yeah. So yeah. this will accommodate this brown one will accommodate a rig of about five foot, probably up to about seven foot. Right, brilliant. Uh, very similar setup here but uh, but on the chair. I mean of course the great thing, I think we've already mentioned it when we talked about seat backs, but the fact that it does just literally screw into any bank stick means that it quite literally will fit onto any system, won't it? It'll fit onto any system and I have known people who actually put it on bank sticks. And then there's uh, the setup, another setup from a seat box, but using a bump bar or spray, ah, right. spray bar, which So people, you wouldn't even need to rest it on your legs? There are occasions when I use it on a bump bar or spray bar and that's when I'm uh, river fishing with flat floats. Brilliant. I want to keep the pole still. So it really can do everything? Yeah, pretty versatile, to say the least. So Nick, you've mentioned you've got an engineering background. Um, what else have you, you invented fishing-wise? Well, my first invention was uh, to alter a fishing reel mechanism right. uh, to bring on a new invention called 3PAR, which was three position anti-reverse, right. where you've got a centre position for the anti-reverse lever. When you get a big take, yeah. you just turn the reel handle forward and that lever flicks off instantly. It's a lot more than just what you see here. That yeah, yeah, gone there's... Before uh, um, Anglers uh, have, must have seen the uh, ProLogic quick release connectors. Yeah. Uh, that's another one of my inventions. Is it really? You see loads of them on the bank, don't you? Yeah, we'll keep nets, landing nets, so yeah. Thinking, dear, so you must have other things in store for this little device, don't you? So everything can be progressed. Definitely. So the world, we can expect to see a Mark III maybe in the not so different future. Uh, I'd like help with that, but yeah, I'm, um, I'm confident we will see a Mark III version somewhere along the line. So. How much is it going to cost me if I wanted to, to pick up one of these? Uh, they're $24.99. Obviously, you just showed us what the Clever Claw can do for people wanting to fish a long pole, but 
This is a very different application for it. You're fishing a feeder here, aren't you, with this? That's right, Tom. Yeah, I designed it for long pole fishing. So, of course, I use it like this now. You need one of these method feeder rests. Yeah. The reel goes in front of the rest yeah. to deliver the upward pressure that keeps the claw locked. There we are. So Quick. that, that feeder's that's gone round now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a fish on that and that's there's just a holding fish. it in place. That's holding it? it in place. I mean, that's really going now, isn't it? Right, now I need to release the claw. And, and we're in. Lovely job. Well, we've seen, I've seen it all now, Nick. Not only can you use a clever claw to help your fish get big long lengths of pole, but you can use it to, uh, to act as a very, very good feeder rest. And I mean, in today's sort of uh, current climate where, you know, these sort of self-hooking methods are so popular, like the method feeder, pellet feeder, etc. you know, it really is a, a great commodity to have because, you know, there, there are a lot of other meals get lost every year at the end of the day, aren't there? That's right, I admit. I don't think there's many anglers that you do this type of fishing that haven't had their rods pulled in. No, I think you're right. They're lively, it, aren't they? So it, fit, these fish. He's itching to get back in the water, isn't he? He is, isn't he? Another nice yeah. fish there, sort of six, six pound, is he, probably? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Well done. What a lovely, lovely way to end the day. <laughs>